But first, Britain insists its oil tanker that was seized by Iran was in Amani territorial waters and it's called for the vessel to be released in a letter to the UN Security Council. Amman has also urged Iran to let the tanker go. It comes after the British government summoned Tehran's top diplomat in London. On Friday, a cargo ship was making its way through the Strait of Hormuz, heading to Saudi Arabia, when it was surrounded by four Iranian boats and a helicopter. Tehran says the tanker was violating maritime rules. Right, uh, we will go to Tehran with Dorsa Jabari in just a moment, though. First, let's go to Nadim Baba, who is covering the story uh, from London. And, Nadim, uh, the fact that the British are now saying that this tanker was in Oman's territorial waters uh, makes a huge difference. What is the significance of that? Well, the significance, Martine, is that they're saying this was clearly an illegal act. The line first came from Penny Mordaunt, Britain's defence minister, on Saturday. It was taken up by Jeremy Hunt, the foreign secretary, later that day. And now, as you've said, Britain has officially written to the UN Security Council. And in uh, the letter, uh, it says the ship was exercising the lawful right of transit passage in an international strait as provided for under international law. And it goes on to say that that uh, international law requires that the right of transit passage shall not be impeded, and therefore the Iranian action constitutes illegal interference. Why does this matter? Well, on Saturday it emerged from Tehran that the authorities uh, were portraying this as a tit-for-tat action, retaliation for the seizure two weeks before by Britain of an Iranian vessel in Gibraltar, which Britain uh, accused of uh, breaking EU sanctions on oil going to Syria. Whatever the truth of that, Britain is now pushing back and saying that Iran had no right to seize this vessel on Friday. They say their uh, response will be ro uh, considered but robust. Jeremy Hunt uh, spoke to his counterpart, to Mohammed Javad Sarif, on the phone on Saturday, said he was extremely disappointed, but it's possible now that the pressure could be uh, ramped up further in the coming days. And uh, do we have any idea, any indication as to what that uh, robust but measured response could be? Well, Martine, we uh, are hearing from at least one uh, UK newspaper on Sunday that um, the government is considering reapplying EU and United Nations sanctions on Iran, which uh, were lifted in 2016 after the uh, so-called nuclear deal with Iran, the JCPOA, uh, which has been under so much pressure. Um, Jeremy Hunt will be speaking to Parliament, outlining uh, his response. Um, we've also seen two, at least, meetings of the emergency cabinet meeting, COBRA, over the weekend. There's also a lot of warnings going uh, out from former military officials to whoever's the next prime minister. It's likely to be Boris Johnson that they will have to start taking this dossier a lot more seriously. Some are accusing both uh, Mr Johnson and Jeremy Hunt, the foreign secretary, of taking their eye off the ball and, uh, in quote marks, allowing this to happen. Uh, in the Gulf because they were too, uh, uh, they were too busy with the uh, Tory, the Conservative Party leadership race. That may or may not be the case, but there is a lot of pressure on the government to show that it is taking action. Nadine Barber, live in London. Thank you very much for that. Now let's go to Dorsa, uh, Dorsa Jabari, our correspondent who's in the Iranian capital, Tehran. Uh, and first of all, there have been uh, comments coming from senior Iranians, uh, Dorsa, which um, established beyond doubt, it would appear, uh, that this is indeed action taken by Iran, uh, a reciprocal action, if you like, in response to uh, the seizure of that Iranian tanker off the coast of, coast of Gibraltar on July the 4th. Well, it's certainly not a coincidence, but officially the uh, government has not said that that is why this act was carried out on Friday in the Strait of Hormuz. But we've heard from the Speaker of Parliament, Ali Larajani, when he was asked a question by the reporters in the Parliament earlier on Sunday, and he responded that basically the British committed piracy and the Revolutionary Guards responded. 
just one sentence, but it sums up exactly how many feel here about what has transpired between the two countries over the past few weeks. The Iranians feel that the seizure of the Grace One tanker on July 4th was unjustified and illegal. All levels of government, including the Supreme Leader himself, has spoken about it, saying that it is an act of maritime piracy, and they're demanding the release of that tanker, which was carrying two million barrels of Iranian crude oil. The Iranians say the destination was not Syria. Therefore, the seizure by the British Navy uh, is illegal. Now, we also heard from officials from Hormuzgan province this morning who have this British tanker uh, in Bandar Abbas port with the 23 crew members. The official there says that they are carrying out uh, what they call a technical investigation because they believe that this tanker was uh, without a transponder signal for eight hours in the Strait of Hormuz, and they believe that this could have caused some very serious accidents with other vessels because this uh, British ship was not uh, had its, did not have its transponder on, so they couldn't communicate with them, and this is why they've seized it. They say that they will continue their investigation in the coming days as well. And, uh, Dorsa, we learn that uh, Iran's most senior diplomat in the UK, the Chargé d'Affaires, was summoned uh, to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, and that that uh, Chargé has uh, been letting us know a little bit as to what went on in that meeting uh, via Twitter. Yes, certainly. He's tweeted this morning saying uh, that the UK government should contain those political forces who want to escalate tensions between Iran and the UK beyond the issue of ships. This is quite dangerous and unwise at a sensitive time in the region. Iran, however, is firm and ready for different scenarios. This is the general feeling that the Revolutionary Guard took control of a situation that could have easily gotten out of hand in the Strait of Hormuz on Friday, and the media relations department of the Revolutionary Guards released the dramatic video that we've seen over the past 24 hours about how this mission was carried out. The Iranians believe that it is their duty to protect these waters, and the Revolutionary Guard has said that the Strait of Hormuz is theirs to protect, and they will do everything they can to make sure that the passage of ships that go through this very busy uh, passageway is secure. And this is an example of what they've done on Friday, despite the criticism that it's drawn from the British government. Dorsa Jabari, live in the Iranian capital, Tehran. Thank you.